Hello everybody, this is Steven. So on the last tutorial we left off on finishing up the navigation bar. This time we are going to create the main content area. And since since this is just the design, all I'm going to do is create a big body of color with a title on it. And then once we start coding up the website, we'll add in text and all that. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Um, actually let's zoom out so it makes it easier and grab the rounded rectangle tool I have a radius of 10 pixels and I have a new layer and I'm going to draw from the left corner of the navigation bar click and drag and I'm going to drag down it doesn't really matter I really care about the horizontal distance more so I'm going to drag about right here alright so then come on over to paths hold down control click so it makes a selection and then let's just fill it with any color for now or actually let's fill it with this light green color that we created earlier that we used for the top of this gradient so alt backspace and that creates the color now what I'm going to do is control D I'm going to delete part of the bottom of this so the bottom part doesn't have rounded corners and then I'm going to just drag this down you zoom in and do about right there okay so now I'm going to create the title portion of this let me make a new layer grab the rounded rectangle tool again and then this one I'm just going to drag out to let's see something like this going to fill it with a gradient actually or we'll do the gradient afterwards so let's just fill it with oops make, make the selection and then I'm going to just fill it with black so control D select your move tool and select both of these layers the title and the background and let's center it so it's center the black part with the background and then I'm going to just drag it up to about right there double click come on over to the let's go to drop shadow first 90 2 and 1 and then gradient is going to be the first one is going to be the dark green color second one is the light green color uh, actually let's make this one a little bit darker so it stands out and then change the scaling to about right there to 150 alright so you can see what what the what it looks like so make a new layer right above that and I'm going to grab this pen tool and start from not not the end but about I don't know quarter inch over click and then drag to this corner and I'm just gonna bow it out a little bit and then just complete the path come on over to paths hold control come back to layers and click D make your foreground white grab your gradient tool and I'm going to do white to transparency and I'm just going to add a quick gloss to this so I'm gonna click here and drag it I don't know something that looks good uh, that's good enough control D hold control select the the title layer selection inverse delete control D and let's try change this to overlay and then lower the opacity so then it doesn't look so plain it just has more of a uh, 3d look to it I guess so now what I'm going to do is actually let's first quickly rename this to gloss oops title and then main BG and then make a uh, come over to the navigation grab these screws and duplicate it and just drag it out of the group and drag it to the top open up the screw layers and let's delete all but one of them select the screw in your move tool and drag it over let 
me zoom in so we can line it up with these screws. I like these to be flush. So line it up with that, hold down shift, and drag it down to here. Okay, maybe we can't because <laughs> this is not the same size. So let's leave it to about right here. There, there's the top, this is the side. So something like that. Hold on, hold on, alt and shift. And drag that down to about right there. Control T and let's just rotate like we did last time. Select both of these, alt and shift. Just going to zoom out and then just hold shift and drag it over. And then select one, rotate it. Select the other, rotate it. Alright, so let's give it a quick title, I guess. Make a new layer. The color is going to be... Let's grab this light green color over here. Lighten it up a bit. And then I'm just going to write latest news. Control A. And going to make it black. And let's go over to the characteristic settings and make it so it's all caps. Alright. And then just make some so it looks nice. Control T and then hold shift and I'm just going to drag it up a little bit bigger. Latest news. Very nice. Alright so one more thing I'm going to do is create another layer. Click D so foreground is black. Drag out a spot for text. And I'm just going to throw in some quick sample text. So once you're coding this, you'll know uh, you'll know what the text is supposed to look like, or your original idea of the text. I'm just going to do uh, Arial regular. And let's go over to Lipsum.com. Hope this is the website. Uh, yes, it is. This is just a website where you can get some lorem ipsum text. If you're not sure what that is, you can look it up on Wikipedia. There's a whole article on it. It's just a body of text that are words that don't make sense. Or that's my understanding of it. So I'm just going to grab three paragraphs of random text. Select all this. Control C. Come back into Photoshop and Control V. And you can tell that it's way too big. So come over to your character editor. Let's put this back to regular type lower the font size to let's try out 12 and for some reason it's looking really tall so let's change back to 100 I must have messed with that earlier uh, let's go with 14 type that looks a little small except that let's drag it into place and oops grab your text tool let's make it a little bit smaller this is just just to get a basic idea doesn't have to be perfect I'm just going to delete one paragraph of text so it doesn't look as long and that's good enough for now okay so I'm going to stop the tutorial there that's kind of a lot to put in uh, it's taken in one video so what we did right now is just have the basic title and main content. Once we're coding it, we are going to delete this text right here and also the latest news. That is going to be different for each page. So uh, join, uh, see you next time. And the next part is going to be creating maybe a login section and some kind of sidebars. So see you then and thanks for watching.